Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September. Now your first card in regards to finances and career, you have the Knight of Wands. A lot of movement here. For some of you guys getting a lot of opportunities. For some of you guys starting a new journey, a new project. Um, something that is going to really give you uh, the give you the potential to really put your name out there or for people to take notice. Um, and when I say people, I mean people around you at work, uh, supervisors, higher ups. I definitely do see you guys being very very focused um very energized and really wanting to prove yourselves for some of you guys this is you really trying to elevate or take it to the next level now in regards to communication you do have here the sun card so the sun card could represent leo type of energy for others of you it could just represent being surrounded with friends colleagues people that are very uh genuine and authentic to you uh, within the years or throughout the years, you have noticed that your inner circle has, you know, uh, drastically decreased. And this is all to do with, again, being able to be around those that want the best for you, people that are genuine and that are authentic. Um, and this can also represent hidden blessings. So it could be that a blessing is coming your way that could come off as unexpected, something you weren't expecting for this month of September. Now, in regards to the challenge here, the King of Swords. So this is your energy, Aquarius. And what they're telling you here in regards to the obstacle or the challenge to overcome for this month, you need to get out of your own way. So what I mean by this is there's a lot of anxiousness or fears in connection to stability, in connections to either relationships or finding the financial stability you've been looking for. And when I say fears, I'm talking about things that are very connected to our subconscious, where we deep down inside, whether we're aware of it or not, what we feel that we deserve. So as an example, everyone, I've never met someone that says I want to live in poverty or I want to uh, experience a very difficult life. Of course not, right? Everyone wants the good things in life. But is everyone capable of achieving or experiencing the best things in life the answer to that is yes what determines if you experience that is you so what i mean by that is ultimately it comes down to your beliefs it comes down to what you think you deserve what you think uh you've earned so the king of swords representing the challenge for this month is you're going to learn or you're going to have to learn to be humble, to be thankful, to be grateful, because there's going to be opportunities that show up to you. And this could be in connection with work or your career. For others of you, it could be in connection to relationships and partnerships where there is a opportunity that presents itself, whether it be a fire energy that presents itself to you or whether it be a job um a job, a project, something that you're able to take on that is going to determine the result of that. How good or how bad that experience is comes down to you. Do you feel worthy? Do you feel like you deserve to be happy? Do you deserve like, do you feel like you deserve to be financially free, to be financially wealthy, to be financially stable? Or are you constantly creating negative scenarios in your head of what could go wrong so that you interpret it as being prepared but in reality these are just blockages that come up and the reason why they come up is because it's a defense mechanism to protect yourself from feeling embarrassed or feeling hurt that you didn't achieve something a goal or aspiration that you're trying to do so this could be touching bases in regards to relationships or career wise but ultimately what they're telling you here is what is it about your beliefs that keep you from being able to progress further? Now, in regards to love and romance, we have the strength card here. So the strength card definitely is speaking to me directly about a Leo energy. For some of you guys, it could be a person that 
you were very connected to or still are very connected to. But for some of you guys, it could be that your ego or pride has always been in the way and you refuse to acknowledge that. At this point, with the Sun card and the Strand card, are you able or are you willing to detach yourself from ego, right, from what you think this person sees you as? Are you willing to let go of that need for control? Or are you okay with deliberately making your life more difficult because you choose to because there is a refusal of growth or there is a refusal of acknowledging that there are certain traits or beliefs or behaviors in you that are toxic and that are not helping you but you continuously keep embracing them now i do see major promise here for some of you guys those of you guys that have been single for quite a while there may be an Aries energy that's coming through for some of you guys. We do have Leo here, but I feel that it's very explosive, very strong. And Aries is the baby of um, fire energy, uh, very untamable. So for some of you guys, it could be an Aries that presents themselves to you. Or it could be an Aries that presents you an opportunity at work that is going to determine if you continue to go up the scale. Now, with this rune here, this is all to do with protecting what you cherish. This is to do with justice. This is all to do with defense as well. And purposeful destruction. So again, we go back to, are you in your own way of your happiness, Aquarius? Is it because this was something that was taught to you? Were you taught that life is difficult because you made decisions in your past that made you a very horrible person if a person keeps repeating that to you you'll start to believe that you got to let go of what others or how others view you or how they criticize you or how they judge you everyone deserves to be happy everyone deserves to experience an abundant life and the only way you're going to start to experience that is the moment you disconnect or cut with a sword cut those toxic behaviors or those that negative self-talk that you do to yourself all right my lovelies i hope this gives you guys some type of insight and we'll see each other soon bye